All right, welcome back. Now, for a country to develop infrastructurally, we need investment and collaboration from one or two countries. Now, the French government has been very interested in investing and collaborating with the Nigerian government on how to improve on our economy. Speaking about the improving on our economy and investing as well as collaboration, we have Gabriel Attal with us, the Minister of State, attached to the Minister of National Education and Youth. Good to have you with us. Very happy to be here. How do you feel this morning? Well, uh, very excited to uh, meet very Nigerians, young people and less young people, but uh, working a lot to build uh, Nigeria to discover its culture. Now, this is your first time in Nigeria. It is. Tell us, how do you feel about the atmosphere? How do you feel about Nigeria? Well, I'm the Minister for Youth in France, mm -hmm. so I was very excited to come in Nigeria because it's a very young country, a very mm -hmm. dynamic youth here in Nigeria. And I, I have to say that uh, since I woke up uh, this morning, I've already seen uh, how dynamic it is and how, uh, yeah, people are... Um, working a lot to uh, develop the country, its mm -hmm. economy, its culture. Mm -hmm. I already met with a few of them, so uh, yeah, I, I feel there's a, a very, it, it is dynamic. Now talking about investment and collaboration in improving the economy of Nigeria, what is your mission here? Well, my mission is to uh, meet with uh, committed young people here in Nigeria mm -hmm. in the economy and also committed, for instance, in uh, uh, NGOs mm -hmm. and also to to, to build more and to strengthen the collaboration, collaborations uh, with, uh, um, between our countries. Uh, and I think um, uh, we can develop the cultural collaboration because uh, culture is also an economic sector. For instance, here we see in Nigeria that cinema is very big. Very. And France, mm -hmm. I think, can learn also from Nigeria uh, regarding uh, that. So that's why the uh, events uh, I'll, be, um, I'll be going to in the Alliance Française is very uh, important because we have many plans to develop collaboration between France and Nigeria regarding cultural issues. I think your mission here, or rather your visit in Nigeria is very strategic. At the time, we have signed the Not Too Young to Run bill into law. Now, talking about youth involvement in politics, your story and your journey in politics have been very interesting. Being a minister at the age of 30, how did this happen? Well, um, I always wanted to commit and to uh, change things. And I think when you want to change things, you can do it, for instance, by committing in NGOs, uh, mm -hmm. non-profits, associations. But um, you also can commit in politics. And sure. very early, I was interested in, in that. In my school, I was uh, like the delegate for students, uh, representing them uh, already. And then mm -hmm. I, joined, I joined the President Macron uh, before he was president, mm -hmm. and I helped him during his campaign. And so I was elected uh, a member of parliament uh, in my district in France uh, three years ago. And a year ago, uh, President Macron uh, asked me to join the government. And I think it's very important to uh, show that uh, young people have a place in politics. Very true. I think the Nigerian constitution changed uh, a few months or a few yes, years ago yes, we did. to mm -hmm. uh, allow more young people committing in politics. Mm -hmm. And it's very important to show that young people want to commit. And when they do, that's for us, we have to show that we can work a lot and we can be credible and uh, legitimate to uh, commit. Talking about cinema, we know the French um, government is very involved um, and very strong in particular about um, cinema as, as regards to movies. Now let's look at the Nigerian Nollywood industry. How do you think we can actually partner to maybe like foster the relationship as regards to um, inflow and outflow of our movies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we, we, we have to. Mm -hmm. And um, President Macron, when he came, he had this message and we worked a lot before, um, uh, after uh, President Macron's visit. Okay. And my visit is also a way to keep working on that. And in a few months, the um, French National Center for Cinema and its equivalent in Nigeria will sign a partnership okay. in order to develop film literacy, film production, and uh, yeah, to, to bring a, a strong partnership between our countries. But already we are developing it. A few months ago in the uh, French embassy here in Nigeria. We had a very important uh, uh, like 
festival with uh, professionals from the cinema industry uh, from Nigeria and from France. Mm -hmm. So it's by hosting events like that and developing uh, partnerships that we will build a more uh, a strong one. I like that. Now, apart from the entertainment industry, let's look at the educational industry now. Because we know that a lot of Nigerians actually travel abroad to further their education. So looking at the barrier of language as regards to French and Nigeria, how do you think we can break that? Well, we have to break it by saying that you don't need to speak French to come study in France. Many people think that. Uh, and France has many international students. It's the True. fourth country uh, hosting international students in the world, and the first for Africa. But for African students, it's, they are more coming from French-speaking countries because non-speaking countries think that you have to speak French to study in France, but True. you don't. Wow. We have uh, almost 2,000 programs in French universities taught 100% uh, in English. So we have many international students, non-speaking mm -hmm. French, coming from Asia, coming from uh, America. And uh, so I, I really want to say to uh, young uh, Nigerians who want to study abroad, come to France because, uh, well, you don't need to speak French before coming. And you will be um, taught in English, but you will also learn French on the side. And it's very useful and interesting. The French culture is very unique, as well as the Nigeria culture. So how do you think we can actually foster collaboration to, as regards to cultural sectors? But, well, I think that the um, Alliance Française that mm -hmm. uh, I will visit uh, later uh, today, today. Uh, is very important to, uh, to that. Because uh, I think a culture which is not moving and not um, uh, learning from other cultures is a dying culture. So, we need to have places where uh, uh, different cultures merge and evolve together. And the Alliance Française is a very important place for that. Mm. So what do you think about the Nigeria culture? Well, I think it's, it is very interesting. I, I think the, 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 the more I know on the Nigerian culture is uh, about uh, music with the famous uh, Fela Kuti, of, of course, mm -hmm. uh, and also younger uh, artists like uh, Davido. Uh, which uh, I heard this morning again. Uh, so, yeah, I know about that. And I'll, I, I hope I'll discover more today. And also, I hope I'll come back to discover even more later. I want you to, because we have a lot of amazing, amazing artists. Now, talking about rating the relationship between the French government and the Nigerian government, how would you, would you think that we're actually um, going somewhere? Yes, we do. We have a very uh, strong diplomatic uh, relation because uh, we are facing challenges together. For instance, the security uh, challenge and fighting terrorism. Uh, it's a common goal for uh, France as well as from, for Nigeria. Um, you know that uh, terrorist attacks happened in France a few years ago and they were uh, prepared uh, abroad. And so there is a, a very big and strong link between uh, terrorism abroad and what happens in France. So we are working together on that, uh, fighting, for instance, Boko Haram here in uh, Nigeria. But also we are uh, uh, strengthening the um, economic uh, links. You know that uh, um, Nigeria is the uh, first country for French uh, investments in uh, sub-Saharan Africa. So uh, we are developing it uh, more. And uh, yeah, we, we're speaking a lot together. And president was, the president was here, so it's a big sign of the importance and how, how much France values Nigeria, its present and its future. Now, this is quite personal now. Before now, what is your perception about Nigeria and Nigerians? And now visiting Nigeria for the first time, has that perception changed at all? Well, actually, uh, uh, I, I, I was told uh, quite long ago that uh, Nigeria is a very young country. Uh, and of course, it interests, it interests me because I'm Minister for Youth in France. And when you say youth, you don't only think about young people by age, but youth is also a state of mind. And uh, well, what I've discovered uh, for the few hours I was here mm -hmm. is that there is this very dynamic state of mind here in Nigeria, and uh, it's very impressive. 
I like that. I like that. So what's your message to a lot, a lot of aspiring young politicians listening to you now who are inspired by your, by your story and your journey into politics? What's your message to them? Well, I'll tell them not to uh, hesitate to commit in politics. And I think the Nigerian constitution changed yes. uh, not long ago uh, to allow more young people to commit. So I would tell them to uh, commit, to do not hesitate. It can be difficult because uh, when you're young, you don't have to wait for um, someone to give you your place. You have to take it, and sometimes it's difficult. But it's mm -hmm. important not only for young people, it's important for the world because uh, young people, they have a, uh, well, they are working on, and they want to commit on issues such as uh, the environment, the climate change, that other generations maybe don't want to commit in that much. Mm -hmm. And so we need a balance in the population, and so that's why we, we need a youth commitment. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Gabriel Atal, the Minister of State, attached to the Minister of National Education and Youth. Good to have you on the show. Thank you. Have you tested on any of Nigeria food? Well, I will. Uh, you should. I want to test uh, Jello the Jello, Jello fries. fries. Okay. Jello fries. Okay. Yeah. I've heard about it, mm -hmm. so I want to you have discover to. it. And maybe next time you can taste our pounded yam and soup. Very, okay. very interesting. Okay. For you I'll to eat it. Add it to the list. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.